Hey everybody, I've been really busy lately, so I haven't been able to make as many videos as I would have liked and spend as much time editing them. As a result, um, so in response to that, I want to know what you guys want to see this next week. Do you want to see more uh, off the wall crazy decks that somehow work or just throw off my opponent? Do you want to see some competitive decks, see me rank up some more? So like if you wanted me to see my perspective on the King Brand deck and see me play it in ranked, I kind of think that it's, you know, everybody's seen that deck, so it's not as exciting uh, from a YouTuber perspective. Uh, then there is the, like, do you want to see some interesting analysis of what's probably going to happen of CD Projekt Red and Gwent. Do you want to get my predictions? Because I can give interesting predictions from the, as a, from the perspective of a financial ac accounting student, so somebody who's becoming a CPA, a certified public accountant. I can give you that perspective. And that's why what the um, financial statement analysis video that I made a while ago was kind of about. It's from my perspective as somebody who studies this uh, accounting stuff. Uh, another thing is, do you guys want me to do kind of those Gwent concept videos where I cover advanced mechanics and things that you should take, you know, consider while playing? Like I had anticipation, the balanced triangle, uh, blacklisting, a lot of people watch that. Then your final option after that, if you want, uh, don't want to do the mechanics video, is uh, kind of experiments. Not just a deck that's experimenting, but you want to see, like, like answer these kind of what if questions. What if you use full test leader ability on a cow carcass? Will you be able to play it on your opponent's side of the board? Will it spawn on your side of the board and just get killed? Kill the other cow carcass because they're both one strain. What happens if you use Johnny on a unit that has a Dragoon buff on your in your hand? So like, let's say you buff Toryville and use Dragoon uh, with a Dragoon, and then you use Johnny on the Toryville in your hand, uh, Toruvial in your hand, and send it back to your deck. Will those buffs be retained? There's a lot of weird things you can do in Gwent that lot, most people won't know. And to give you a clue on that last one, what happens is the Dragoon buffs disappear. Teruvio goes back down to 6 strength. I know this because I made a deck about it. And I just used um, Azur's Double Cross to pull Teruvio back from my deck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> weird stuff happens in Gwen. Um, so that's another option for you guys. So put, it, put your answer down in the, the description. Do you want one? Uh, wild decks, two competitive decks, meta decks, three uh, we, uh, accounting, my counting perspective in videos, four do you want mechanic explanations like you know tutorials on Gwent, or five do you want experiments like weird mechanics? Put that down in the description. You can have a combination of several ones of those. And thanks for watching.